Yo, what up guys, Dan checking in. We're about to start um, carving up pretty soon. This is like, we're like three days out from Mr. Golden Air Contest. It's the 24th, I start filming on the 27th, so this Wednesday. And gonna be doing, doing some promotion for my, you know, my entry this video, this week as well. You know, lots of promotion. But, um, you know, let's talk about something that I thought was pretty interesting. Now, I've seen a couple of the, you know, a few of the Mr. Golden Air Contest entries already. And I'll be honest with you, you know, I'm not trying to be cocky or being an ass, but I'm not really impressed because first off, a lot of them are filmed on phone cameras. Again, take it, like, take, like, I know Wesley won like that, but Pete Harwig wasn't the biggest guy, but he definitely won because he used a professional setup and everybody liked that. So I took a tip from that and I, you know, I had the whole setup, baby. We got the backdrop, the backdrop stand. It's like all the way in that corner. We got my, my, uh, my friend Manny, who's like a killer, you know, um, videographer. He's so beast. Like... You know, and he's gonna help me make a video. We're gonna make a badass video. I swear, this is gonna be the best video you've ever seen. It's probably gonna be so professional. It's gonna be just like Pete Hartwig's, all right? And also, I'm not, and not, I'm not impressed because, you know, see, in this contest, you have to have a good vacuum, all right? People wanna see a nice, deep vacuum. They know a good vacuum when they see it, all right? So when you don't have a good vacuum, they, they most likely will not pick you as the winner. And I'm just being real with you. Like, you know, I'm not trying to psych people out. I'm not trying to be a, a jerk or dick or anything like that. I'm just saying, if you don't have a good vacuum, you're not going to win. A nice deep vacuum. Wesley had an okay vacuum. I personally don't like Wesley's vacuum. I do like Pete Harwig's vacuum. I think it was pretty deep. But there's a lot of people, you know, I've seen already who, do the va who are doing the vacuum in their entry video. And it just, I don't know, it's just not deep. It's like, hey... You know, you're good, but your vacuum kind of sucks. You know, people like a deep vacuum. People like a Frank Zane vacuum or a Mike Mincer vacuum. You know what I mean? But um, also, like, also another thing is that there are some people who I think who could definitely place over me if they had the condition. Again, some people just didn't learn from last year. It's like, dude, you know, last year you came in fluffy or, you know, people just, I don't know what people think. Like, maybe they're just ending the contest for fun. It's just totally cool. I'm not hating or anything like that. But if you enter the contest to win and you're coming in fluffy like that, like, there's no definition in your abs. I'm like, dude, you're not going to win like that. Absolutely. No, hell no. Fat chance, baby. Fat chance. This is why I did, this is why I died it down for about, you know, little Nick only gave us like four weeks. Four weeks to just, you know, diet down, get myself, do my carbs, carbs, like in my cardio, and get in shape and to do an actual peak week so I can, you know, actually show some more definition, my abs, my thighs, pretty much everywhere in my body. But yeah, you know, that's sort of my, you know, take on, you know, everybody else's Mr. Golden Air I actually, I was a little nervous because I was like, wow, what if, you know, we see someone who's really good. And I have seen a few good ones for sure. But again, they're either really good condition and they have a really crappy vacuum or, you know, it's usually that most likely because I've seen a few that I thought were really good. Like at least two guys are really good, but you know, really good conditioning, but crappy vacuum. I'm like, no, you probably won't surpass me because we both almost have an equally, you know, size um, physique in terms of proportions. Symmetry might, might be, my might, might, might even be better actually, but my vacuum is sick. It's deep as hell, man. It's probably, the, I, if not, I will have the best vacuum in the Mr. Golden Air Trees overall, for sure, for sure. I'm just that confident in myself because it's like, dude, I ain't never seen anybody who has a vacuum like mine. My vacuum's just deep. I've been doing it since like I was six years old. I've learned about it for in the first grade. I didn't even know it was the vacuum. I just sucked in my stomach. I'm just saying, I'm, I might take, I'm, I think I'm gonna take this. You know, I'm pretty confident because it's like, I prepared correctly. I got all the right things, man. All right, and I got the right people setting, um, helping me out. You'll see, you'll learn about that later on, but I'm gonna try to do a vlog every day up to the contest, even before, even on show day, even on show day, baby. Anyways, in today's vlog, Gonna be taking you a little bit through my day. Whenever I have, have a chance to vlog, I'm gonna vlog. But you know, right now I'm gonna start getting ready for church. I go to the Greg, go to the Greg Glory Church in um, in Irvine. I'm gonna be heading over there a little bit, and then uh, I'm gonna hit up my coach right now to ask me because I think you know to talk to him about carbon up because I think we're gonna start carbon up today because it's we're three days out, so we're gonna get things ready. You know what I mean? But yeah, anyways, I'll check in with you guys later. I'm like working on a vlog right now, and I'll work on that vlog and post it literally in one hour. All right, guys, I love you. Peace. All right, guys, about to jump in the shower. Gonna do a little bit of a conditioning check. Definitely getting drier, crispy, leaner by the day. Literally about, you know, we only got four days out. We only got like four or three days left, right? Not much is gonna happen, but I mean, I'm hoping for the best that. All right, guys, here in my car, driving to the post office. I try to come to this one by my house, but 
they're closed. Like that's so stupid. Like it's what if people have to deliver mail? Then they're gonna make it like you, it's it's all and it's all good. But it's because you can just drive to another one. Like it's and it's open. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, what if people had really important mail to pick out of their mailbox? It was delivered on a Sunday. You know what I mean? Anyways, I've worked at the post office. Don't get so don't, don't don't give me crap. I worked there before. So I'm gonna go to the other post office and deliver some mail, and then probably drop by a Walmart pick up some cream of rice. Gotta pick up that cream of rice. That stuff's pretty tasty. I'm gonna use that on my next book because it's so easy to eat. Like it's just go. It's like oatmeal but grinded down like really finely, and it has lots of carbs, so it's super easy to eat. Tasty as hell. Put skip, mix it with protein. It's like mm, it's so good. Anyways, let's go to the post office. The other one. Going for it. This one is freaking long time, man. All right, let's see where to drop this out. Mine are only letters in flats, so let me. Pop those in there. Boom. Hey guys, forgot to mention I'm at the gym doing a posing. I literally forgot about the vlog. I just got so caught up with like posing. I was just so focused on because like we're literally like three days out for sure. I think three days out. I don't know, but I keep forgetting. But yeah, we're here just doing a little bit of posing. I've been looking at more Golden Era con um, con contest entries. Eh. Not really bothered by it too much. Still feeling really, really confident. But one thing I do want to say is that some guy left some stupid ass comment on my channel. He was like, he was like, yo, there's no way you're gonna win against guys who want gear. And I was like, shut up, man, dude. Like, you know, I sort of went on a rant about it on my Instagram and I was like, shut up, dude. Like, there is people who said, you know, there's no way someone can run a four minute mile. There's no way, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger could say, become an actor. Like, no one can, no one can say his last name, however you say, Schwarzenschnitzel, whatever you call it, ended up being an actor. Someone ended up break, breaking the four minute mark record for a mile. So it's like, dude, like get that negativity, get that doubt out of here. Like I'm here to win it. I'm here to take it. I'm here to represent Silver Era. So not going to really show you posing because I literally have like 2% left of my battery. I know I got my charger right there. Maybe if I charge up my phone, but I'm also going to just play, be playing music and just focusing on, on posing and whatnot. But, you know, I showed you a, a video of me posing the last time. So I'll show you one this week, this time. I don't want to like, you know, spill any more tea, just, you know, I'm carving up right now. I want to keep everything sort of, you know, confidential until I reach the actual peaking point, which is, you know, I'm going to get tanned up on Tuesday. I already got my tan set up. Like, I'm still surprised, like, people aren't tanning up. People aren't getting the whole setup. People aren't, like, doing the right steps to actually win a contest. And I'm like, dude, bro, like, I'm, like, getting my foot in the door halfway already just because I've got the setup. I'm getting a tan. I'm pretty much shaved up already. I'm, like, drying out. I'm leaning up, I'm carving up, like doing all the right steps. I feel, I still feel like, this is why I feel so confident, that's why. This is why I feel so confident I'm gonna win. Because I'm doing all the right steps. But if it's not meant to be, then it's not meant to be. But I'm just saying, I got a few tricks up my sleeve, just saying that. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. You know, I hit you with another physique check. About to have another meal in. I don't really grow any hair on my like nipple. I mean, there's some, like, let me show you. You can barely see it. <laughs> it's so funny because like one time I was like in high school, right? And there's this guy who was, he was like, uh, he was like yawning, right? But as soon as he yawned, he started doing this. It was weird. He was like, uh, like with no, both nipples too, both nipples. It was just like kind of, I don't know. I was just like, do people actually do that? Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. That's the first time I ever saw that. I've seen that in movies, but I've never seen that in person. I was like, dude, what the they did. Put, I mean, no, no one else noticed, but it was me. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. But checking a little bit of the conditioning here. Like I could have definitely worked my lower abs more. <sighs> um. But as you see, I shaved my arms. There's no hair on my arms, and I shaved the armpits too. So those are pretty clean. Let me show you the other one. Both pretty clean. I shaved both arms. Don't really grow any chest hair. Don't really grow any back hurt either. I might flip the camera in a bit right now, but as I, I also just shave my legs too. Like my calves are pretty clean. There might be a little bit of still hair still lingering around, but mostly just sort of, you know, took care of a lot of the hair. I might do another shave tomorrow just to make sure I didn't get any of the spots because there's some probably on my hamstring. I can feel it like right here. Like there's some right here. I can feel it and you can see it as well too. But gonna be, t I even shave the toes. Look at that. Can I zoom in? Does that work? Oh yeah. Looks really low quality, but you can kind of tell that I did that. No, let me flip the camera and show you what the back looks like. All right, so here we got the back.
Yeah, let's just relax the back. Yeah, definitely. Definitely brought it up a bit. I mean, not much for like four weeks, but I mean, they only gave us like four weeks, but it's not like it's not looking bad. It definitely looks a lot better when I hit my poses because it looks just boom. I'm gonna hit those three quarter poses. Ooh, it's gonna look so good. It's gonna look so good. Let me let me flip the camera back. So yeah, I'm gonna about to have my other meal. So I got like two more meals to go. Like I said, about two or three more meals to go. Got my egg whites, some more um, ground turkey and rice, ground and then ground turkey and rice again, and then possibly like a chicken or a slice of meat, something like that. Sorry, I got a little itchy down here. <clears throat> but yeah, coming in tight. We're getting a little tighter. We're getting a little thicker. Carb it up. But yeah, all right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, we're back at it again. We got the ground turkey and the rice, the peanut butter right there. I don't know if you saw that peanut butter right there. We did it again. We got a sort of special drink here. Not really. It's more like a magnesium drink. Pretty sure you know like which one I'm talking about. It's the na natural, nature, nature, natural, calm, magnesium drink. You know, it's supposed to sort of, you know, just chill you out, mellow you out. And that's why I'm taking it. Not so much stress out, but I just like, I like the taste of it, man. You know, you're drinking this water all day long and you get really sick of it because it tastes, it doesn't taste very good, you know, and this is sort of like soda to me because it's, it's got like a fizz. It's got, it's like a really warm, a Sprite, you know what I mean? Like a really warm Sprite and it's very tasty. It's refreshing because it's the only freaking thing I've had that tastes good in, in prep right next to peanut butter. So you're going to enjoy all this food. I'm hungry. Oh, I can't wait for that peanut butter. I just, peanut butter is a, it's like the first one I want, I want I want it to go down, you know what I mean? First thing I want to attack, but it's like, I gotta savor it, because it's my last peanut butter for the day, and I still have to have a bunch of other crappy food, you know, bro dining food, before I go to sleep. I'm gonna be drinking egg whites, just so you know. I have to drink a couple of egg whites, maybe even two. You'll see me do that, I'll show you that. But yeah, let's get it. 